back again tonight with Casey Coletti. Of course, last night we talked and how your week is going, but tonight you won the round, so congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. So how does it feel like getting your first round win this week? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, just to win a round any time at the NFR, whether it's your first time, your 10th time, or you know, just any time, it's really special to do it, especially tonight in the TV pin. All of us bareback riders and saddle bronc riders, we talk about the TV pin at the NFR. This is one of those gold buckles that you want to have. <laughs> Well, great. Well, the ride looked awesome, so Thank tell you. me a little bit about it. Oh, she was just amazing. Scarlett's Web, Scotty Lovelace, um, classic pro rodeo. She, I had her earlier in the year this year, and she was phenomenal then, and she was even better tonight, in my opinion. And she had that real big rare out, and I felt strong mark out, and then she just jumped in the air and circled around the left. That's unusual for her. Every time I've ever seen her, she circles to the right. You know, I, Cheyenne this year, she circled to the right with me, and when she circled to the left, I, I knew it was going to be really good, and I, I was just, just so tickled to have her here. Well, um, when you get right there on a horse, and you, you're, you know you've got the, your ride's going great, and you feel it, do you have anything going through your mind right then? Just well, at the beginning, I was just really focusing on lifting and setting my feet hard, and just trying to ride her. You know, trying to one to 25, trying to put 24 <laughs> point spur rides on her. You know, honestly. And then about six seconds, I remember she circled back right to the bucket shoots, and I was looking, and I looked out right down at the bucket shoots, and I knew I was going to be a good score and just be awesome and just be a lot of points. So, how does it feel when you take that round? Winning round around the arena. Oh, they tried to get me to get on the victory lap horse <laughs> before Casey Fields, and that guy's a machine. I mean, I take my hat off to that guy. Actually, I take my hat off to all 15 guys in that locker room. I mean, they're all great bareback riders, but they wanted me to get on before he rode, <laughs> and I told him, I says, no, sir, I will not. I'm a little superstitious about that. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, there's no reason to jinx it. <laughs> exactly. Well, it happened to me one time. I really? got on, They made me get on the victory lap horse, and I'm sitting there about to win. <laughs> this guy jumps out, beat me by two points, and then it's kind of I shameful. Get you got to get off. You got to. Yeah. It's like, well, no. <laughs> yeah, I was standing on the buck shoots. They're like, come get down. I'm like, no, sir, I will not. I'm <laughs> waiting. I will sprint and jump. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, we watched him and kind of knew in my heart, my my head, that I was probably going to win the round. But, I mean, I did, waited until they announced his score to, to to get on the victory lap horse. And that's that's kind of a dream come true to make a victory lap in the Thomas and Mack with the yellow bucket shoots. I mean, every cowboy that, whether you're a bareback rider, steer wrestler, anybody, that's a special feeling to go ride around for 18 thousand people and get a swing your hat around and get excited. Okay now you go get your buckle a little bit later tonight and any celebration you're gonna do you think afterwards? I'm not sure yet honestly <laughs> I mean probably we'll go get it take all the family up there on stage and then uh, probably just go back to the MGM and hang out there and watch the band play and uh, maybe go to bed. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe go to bed. Who maybe knows? Not. Well, I went to bed <laughs> last night. Not. I went to bed last night early, and it worked. It worked good. I didn't sleep because I was nervous, but I went to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Now, how many? But how are you going to have on stage with you? Well, I don't even know to be honest with you, because I got family that was here, some coming in, some that left today. You know, so I, in all reality, I don't know who's all here and who's not yet. I mean. I, I took a nap today, so <laughs> I don't know who came in and who <laughs> left, left. So there's going to be at least three, me, my mom, and dad. So I was going to say your biggest fan's going to be yeah, there. You there. told me about last night. Yeah, there's your mom, so. sitting up there, at section 101. <laughs> they're at the top. They're did one you screaming tonight. <laughs> Actually, I did. When, right when I was running my hand in, they I remember listening. My mom has a distinct voice, and I could hear it. You know, I. <laughs> At Houston, there's 88,000 people jam-packed in there, and I could hear my mother's voice across the 88,000 people, and that's good. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know, I've, it, it's going to be awesome. Okay. Rent a big limo, and we'll all go out there. All right. Well, great. Well, congratulations <laughs> Thank again. You. Hopefully we'll see you back here again. Me too. I hope so, too. <laughs>